Good morning, everyone. Um, my name's Tom O'Reilly. I'm the Vice President of Sustainability for Rockwell Automation. And I'm very uh, honored and pleased to have a very special guest to talk at the Automation Fair this morning, okay? Dr. Christina Lampe Onerud, all right? Um, she's from Cadenza. She's the uh, CEO of Cadenza, a new EV battery startup that uh, we're working with. And um, you know, obviously with sustainability, um, the, you know, on our focus on energy, water, and waste, okay? This is a really hot topic, interesting topic. So I'm gonna just dive right in and uh, ask some really probing questions. So, Christina, welcome. Thank you so much. Um, first, I'd like to start off is that, you know, you have some uh, unique technology, okay? Uh, that uh, appears to be disruptive in the market for the EV battery market. Could you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So first, thanks for having us. Uh, we are thrilled to be in a position right now where we can use global supply chains and global knowledge from the portable power era and the early EV to launch now a very simplified design using small electronic, uh, basically electrical devices so jelly rolls or electrochemical cells that are situated in a larger package, an envelope, inside ceramic, plastic, or even paper type of separation. Wow. That separates the cells, yet puts them very close together. Each one of these mini cells are enclosed in an aluminum cup that serves as a cold finger as it's welded to the bottom of the plate of a big cell. So we have a prismatic solution with small electrochemical units separated yet tightly packed but here's the bottom line it is high performance but it can never go into fires or thermal runaways or explosions and as we looked That's at this great. concept we have also simplified the design so it's simpler and easier to manufacture so we will drive down costs and up the performance that's awesome i mean you're hitting the uh, energy delivery uh, the density and then also safety because obviously we've seen the the, the, the video is on YouTube. Yes. So um, well, I guess I want to just talk a little bit more about technology. Uh, so is lithium ion, is, is, that, is, that, is that here to stay? Or will that technology change? What, what, are, what are your thoughts in terms of for EV batteries? Where's it going? What's, what's going on? There's been a lot of dialogue around that. Yeah, absolutely. It's an awesome question. And I think there's a lot of speculation as well. Yep. We sit at an unprecedented time. We have an energy transition that is going global. We're looking at batteries not only for EVs but for energy storage and all kinds of specialty applications. And if you look at the history of batteries, we still drive with lead acid batteries. Yeah. Lead acid was invented in 1850. Yeah, it's a long time ago. And every <laughs> prestigious university in the world still has one element of lead acid research. Wow. We launched nickel cadmium in 1880, nickel metal hydride in the 50s, and lithium ion was invented only in the mid 70s. The point of that is, it is actually quite complicated. It takes a long time to commercialize and identify what is commercially viable. Lithium ion was really seriously launched in the early 90, 90s, actually 1991 by Sony, mm -hmm. and all portable power and then EVs came into fashion in the kind of mid 2010s at any significant level and now has a fantastic boom. And we have energy storage coming as well. In my opinion, lithium ion will not be the only solution, but it will dominate this next 30 years for us. Why? Because you have a global supply chain mm -hmm. already built up. You have massive material science programs feeding into this family we call lithium ion. So lithium ion means you have a lithium carrier, but you can use all of the first row transition metals on the cathode side. So you have a lot of options. It's mostly metals. So it's easy to recycle, it's easy to reuse, you can package it differently. And what we're hoping to do together with Rockwell, of course, is to standardize on multiple ways for formats using this idea of small cells, mm. where you can anticipate and flood in improvements in chemistry. So it's like a building block architecture, right? Yeah. yeah that, that's excellent. That, that, that's great. Um, now, you know, when we talk about uh, Lithium-ion batteries and EV. You know, we think we, we think primarily vehicles. Okay, yeah. but what's the kind of the ripple effect of, of, of your technology and your, and your business? What are you, what are you thinking? How, how else will this uh, affect and change manufacturing, the economy, etc.? Yes, I think this. We live in a massive technology transformation area. 
I think we feel every year, wow, yep. life is going so fast. It's true. So the fact that batteries are now becoming the center, one of the center building blocks together with ideas around cloud, ideas around disrupted uh, supply chains and also manufacturing, recycling. This idea that a battery that was designed initially for EVs, so in fact, in part of our design, you have a crash absorption thought. Yep. So that's kind of interesting. It's just widening the perspective. This is a building block for the car. But of course, equally, it could be a brick for a building. Yep. So it wouldn't be cool if our vision is right, that you have Lego blocks of energy. You could imagine your bookshelf in your living room, and you just want to have a little bit more storage, and you click it in yourself one day. That disrupts and, frankly, democratizes energy. Yeah, that's great. You could be responsible for your use and your care of energy. And when you have it right in your palm, through your phone or whatever interface yep. we use as soon as 10 years from now, uh, where you have the metrics and you have the data, you have a chance to affect and engage. And this is what we're seeing. That's excellent, that's a great vision. So I want to shift gears a little bit. Mm. Um, obviously, we've started to work together, yes. and we have some plans. How um, how will Rockwell help you scale your manufacturing? You know, how 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 will Rockwell help you? At least I hope we're helping you. Oh, I hope <laughs> you will help. I think, in the end, Tom, it's you and many of your colleagues, wonderful knowledge bearers with deep engagement. Um, we bring a team of hustlers drivers, innovators, creators, Excellent. and somewhat of market shapers. Some of us have gotten opportunities to sit on global stage, both at Chatham House Rules, rooms through World Economic Forum, and other very kind of interesting environments where people are really saying like, how the heck are we going to solve these problems? These are intractable problems. And yet, we're finding a way. So I think we will do interesting things in manufacturing and we will do interesting things in software and we will do interesting things in creating better yields and better cost positions. But if we do this right, Tom, we will help shape the future for the next 10 years, which is critical. If we are right and we engage in a way that engage others, we will be part of this movement of a more sustainable future. It's not one person, it's not one company, it's a lot of people, and if we can march a little bit faster and invite a few more to do this, we will actually do something really good. That is awesome. Yeah. I love uh, your, your vision, your strategy. Um, we are very happy to be partnered with Cadenza. Um, we look forward to really working together. Um, I want to just close out and say thank you very much for coming to Automation Fair. We also, for the viewers, there is a Cadenza battery pack, battery stack, excuse me, um, on the show floor in the Industry Solutions Automotive booth. And there's also a cutaway so you can see that the uh, jelly roll and the, the, the building block design. So it's very cool. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Uh, and we're, we're proud to be part of um, working together to make the world more sustainable. Wonderful. So thank thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.